Hello the internet and welcome back to Rudan Waifus, I am Steffi, your favorite gambling addict and today I want to talk about why I'm taking some days off, probably close to a week, uh, to actually figure out what I want to do with this channel and with the YouTube content. So kind of a small channel and monetization update, future content, etc. When it comes to monetization, until January, I cannot reapply for the YouTube partnership program because the thumbnail, etc. You have another video explaining it, you can go watch it. So I want to take this time to actually rethink type of videos that I'm doing because I want to find the balance and let me open here I want to find the balance between a uh, fast food content and research content I love researching topics related to, to the things that I enjoy and I will talk about uh, what in a second but there is a lot of these types of videos that just make no sense for me to be making so for example type of videos that I think is stupid to be making a quick example is patch notes right because there's a difference between making a guide for a character and making a patch notes video that provide nothing for you. You can't read the patch notes. You might not know how to build characters because you don't know how the game works, but you certainly know how to read, right? So there is a big difference in those things. Now, examples of content that I enjoy researching. Uh, well, that will be, for example, why Bluestacks is an awful emulator, <laughs> right? From the perspective of a content creator and a user from uh, for multiple years. Or uh, why Crunchyroll, uh, it's a parasite in the gacha community, right? Topics that I enjoy and I'm really actually passionate about. I love shit talking Crunchyroll. I'm passionate about that. So I would love to be making those type of videos rather than just pumping out three videos a day. I know that will take a hit on my algorithm initially uh, when it comes to everything that I'm doing, but it's completely fine. I don't mind that. Uh, so, before we switch into this content and I try to figure out what I want to do, because again, I'm going to be taking probably close to a week, you're going to be seeing two or three more videos. You're going to be seeing a sponsored video for RPGGO, which is the sponsor for the channel right now. Huge shout out to them. They're sponsoring us for two whole weeks, so I cannot be nothing but grateful to them, right? We have to make a video on that. And I'll probably be making as well two more videos, which is going to be the Flora Full Guide. Those, those guides still remain on the channel. And then a beginner's guide, like a long beginner's guide, including everything you need to know for the global release of Star City. Now, let's talk about the content that I don't want to be making and the one I'm not sure what I'm making. And then we'll go into the content that I uh, enjoy. When it comes to content that I will not be making, um, one of the examples that, that I want to put, and let me put this on top so we can actually switch into YouTube, right? It's the day one reroll and tier list. The only way I'm going to be making these videos, even though they work, because they are actually the, the videos that usually get um, the most views if I go into tier list, right? If I go here, as you can see, the CN veteran reroll gate on Haze Reverb, or the same for the tier list, same for things like that. The only way I'll be doing these videos, if it's I've been playing the Chinese or Korean version or original versions of the game for a long time, and I know what I'm talking about, because for the most part, I don't care about these videos, okay? I'm not going to be making a, a tier list, for example, on a star seed when I barely understand the meta itself, even though, as you can see, we made one, and those work super well. But then it's like, they work, but they provide no value because I cannot explain to you why those characters are so good. So those videos will be out. No more tier lists or reroll guides unless it's a game that I know. Like I was saying earlier, we'll make a whole beginner guide including a lot of topics for Star Seed, but not the tier list. The other thing that I don't want to keep making videos on is those basic guides, but one by one. So when I say a beginner's guide for Starseed, I mean covering everything that, for example, you have here on general guides for Nikkei, right? All of these topics, instead of making separate videos, I want to make a big guide every six months. So every, for example, half anniversary and anniversary, make a bigger one rather than just having them update every two, three months and be like, oh, new media shop update, oh, new favorite item priority, oh, new fucking wish list at least after every single character a new video there is no need for that if you want to check that you can go into the website and check it that's what i made the website to keep all of these lists updated all of these guys updated right the other thing that i will most likely stop doing is patch notes once again they provide nothing you can't read the patch notes yourself and the only reason i will be doing a patch notes video if it's there is something huge so for example the day shift up announces championship arena right that's a huge day for us <laughs> things like that yes of course if it's something big but for the most part the smaller events and smaller patch notes there is no reason to be making those videos since i can be doing something else instead now when it comes to the content that i'm not sure if i want to keep making there is two types in here there is the character kit pre-analysis so for example when they drop flora key tomorrow i don't know if i want to make those videos talking about the pre-analysis of the character or i want to wait until the character is out 
And then when it comes to also the first impressions, I enjoy making first impressions, but I want to find a way of doing it that is actually fun because I feel first impressions are kind of like a boring video when it comes to just doing you know, first impressions and what I feel about the game. Uh, so I want to find a way of doing them uh, while keeping it fun. And now let's go into content that I actually will keep doing and no matter what, right? Because I think it's content that is actually valuable, fun, and unique depending on what we're doing. First of all, the silly series, so for example, the banner showcases, the fan service tier list, things like that will stay on the channel. I like those videos. The Japanese videos without clickbait, so for example, this video, the video I was talking the other day about how gacha publishers are ruining global releases, etc. Those videos stay. I also want to start doing more Nikkei deep dives, not only Nikkei, but also other games. So how Neon, Summer Neon actually changed. And let me actually switch to Nikkei here for a second, so you guys can see it. But how Summer Neon changed the way we get limited characters, because they are good thanks to her, right? Or how Red Hood changed also how now we're getting different character previews because all of the drama surrounded her release, right? So things like that that I believe could be interesting topics as a, as a deep dive will stay in the channel. React content will stay as long as I can provide something good. If it's gacha related or marketing or programming, they will stay. If not, if they don't include any of those three topics in one way or another, I'm not going to be reacting because it makes no fucking sense, right? And then, of course, uh, character reviews will stay in the channel only for the games that I can't talk about. So Nikkei for now is the only game that will stay with character reviews. <laughs> Maybe Girls Run Online 2 on Star City, if I keep enjoying the games as much, I will try to get into the meta. For now, not so much. And then, of course, also lastly, the drama and news. But, and this is what I was making this video, I don't want to be doing drama videos uh, just as they come out. Like if there is a drama, I have to be the first to make the video. I need to be fast. No, I want to be researching them. I want to see what's going on. I want to see all the sides on the story. So I will only be covering drama and news as long as I can provide some extra value rather than just telling you what's going on. Right? I want to provide more context. And of course, the Kumer content will not go away. Okay. That's a will stay here uh, forever. The, the channel is called and waifus, that's not changing. We will keep covering only Kumer games for the most part. <laughs> that said, that's gonna be for this video. It's probably longer than um, what it needs to be. Uh, there is a lot of these videos that will probably slowly be removed from here. Some of them will stay, but for the most part, in general, on the future, I wanna be somewhat you you come for two things, because you enjoy being with me here, chatting and having a good time, and because you know you're going to be getting a good source of information, not just pumping out content constantly. And recently I've been just pumping out, there's too many fucking videos for no reason, like there's just no reason to be pumping out this, this patch notes for Nike. This Girls Online 2 launch drama, for example, is a great video because at least I can provide more context from someone who's been playing the Chinese version since day one, things like that. So, all you know, enough ranting, that's going to be it for this one. Changes coming to the channel. This next week, you'll see two videos, which is going to be the sponsor video, thank you, um, the star seat, and the flora guide. And after that, I'm going to be taking some time to figure out what I want to do. Any suggestions are more than welcome here in the, in the comments or in Discord. Feel free to DM me. And also, as a side note, I actually deleted my uh, social media accounts. So for now, I deactivated all of my social media accounts. They provide like no value to me, it's just a huge time sink both Reddit and Twitter, it's just bullshit. It's negativity to a level that's too high, at least when it comes to gacha games. So they provide nothing and I can get my news from other sources anyway, so it's completely fine. All that said, beautiful people, that's gonna be it for this one. As usual, hope you have a great day. Good luck with your pool, the internet. I'll see you on the next one. ベンチ万物を切るとはこういうことです。